Hello Star Wars fans and collectors, this is JCC2224 bringing you another Star Wars action figure review. Today I review the Clone Wars Captain Locke exclusive to, tar to Kmart stores only. And I really like this figure even though he's become a serious peg warmer in US tar Kmart stores. Um, but before we go on to the figure, let's go on to the box. Here is the box to the figure. Shows nice image of Captain Locke there. Only at Kmart. It's rare that there are Kmart exclusives. Clone Captain Locke. Warning. Includes the blaster. Wow, like we didn't know that. There's where the die would go. And the Galactic Battle Game card. On the other side, we have Clone Captain Locke with the Republic symbol. A nice image of the figure. And that's actually the old 2008 style helmet instead of the new 2009 like included with Locke, if you can tell the difference there. There is Locke commanding his troops during the attack on his ship, and here is his description. Captain Locke serves under Jedi General Eve Koth. The clone captain and his troops valiantly defeat Master Koth's, defend Mas Master Koth's Jedi cruiser when it's being boarded by General Grievous firing their blasters at waves of super battle droids marching into the ship. He retreated. Master Eeth Koth, uh, Eeth Koth, it's kind of a tongue twister, told him to retreat, and he did, so he is still alive. Here are the other figures included. Well, it doesn't show any, but it shows the rules for the Galactic Battle game. And it shows an example of a card. Okay, let's get on to the figure. Now, I really like this figure. Definitely one of my favorite Clone Wolf Clone Troopers. He's got the new style of helmet. Um, a DC-15 blaster pistol. Really nice green and bright green markings. See on his helmet there. I really like that. And his detailing is just really, really sleek. I like that in a figure. Now let's go on to his Galactic Battle Game card and stand. Here's his card. Clone Captain Locke. His points. And here is the Galactic Battle Game stand, which is included with every Saga Legends and Clone Wolves figure. There are variants of this where these pegs will be in different positions. And here is the Galactic Battle Game die, which is included with it. It's got many different decorated sides. And let's, once again, move on to the figure. Now this figure has the same arm as Commander Cody, and the same head as the Riot Control Clone Trooper. Let me get those for just a second. Here is Commander Cody. It shares the same arm. And let me get the Riot Clone. Sorry about that. And here is the Riot Control Clone Trooper in which Locke shares his head with. I'll be doing a review on this guy soon. His um, articulation is not the crappy stone mold, but is actually the same nice old mold that we all like. 
Nice old mold. <laughs> um, his legs have detailing. And he has a rectangle on his chest there. I really like his head. Because it really makes him look sleek with that new styling of helmet. And actually underneath his head, they were too lazy to paint out the flesh from a previous figure. So because of the styling of his head, you can put another figure's head on there. Like, for example, if you want to say he's similar to Cody and has a scar on his face, you can give him a head. I do not keep him that way. Now, his articulation is um, simple. Ball jointed head, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, ball hinged wrists, ball hinged torso, ball hinged um, knees, swivel legs, and ball hinged ankles. Now this figure is really, really nice. Now, if you see him in a Kmart, I suggest you get him. If you don't have a Kmart near you, I suggest you message someone that has tons of Kmarts near him. You could maybe ask them to pick one up for you. I guarantee they'll most likely still have it. This figure is just really, really nice, really superb. And I do highly recommend him. Like I said, with all of my Clone Wars reviews, original trilogy collectors stay away from him. Um, hope you enjoyed this longer than normal review. Have a good day, and may the Force be with you.